We all make mistakes. I've made mistakes, but I believe that if you, if you stay in faith, if you have the heart to do what's right, that God will still get you to where you're supposed to be. I hope God didn't make a mistake on that one, though. You're saying, you know, we all make mistakes. God might have made a mistake then, if you, according to what you're saying. It's a he riddle. didn't do his best. It's a conundrum. It's a conundrum. Yeah. We're glad that you, you know came back, Joel. Come back anytime. It's a good talk to have. Everybody in our audience, by the way, is going home with a copy of Joel's new book. <laughs> has been discussing the spirituality and the forces of God, but I also believe that there are two forces that are here with us, that we do have our, our, our God that we can depend on, but there's also a power of darkness that we do need to be aware of. And, and that's you, where the choice is. Do you begin. believe that, and that you can choose between one or the other? Most most absolute definitely. Yeah. Now, we now Marianne uh, Williamson says in her book, Return to Love, that we're always walking in the direction of one or the other, that all of your actions in life, either you're moving toward the darkness or you're moving toward the light. Right. She calls it fear and love. There's this wonderful book called Ishmael by Daniel Quinn, which talks, it, which, which is, anyway, it's a gorilla talking, but anyway, <laughs> uh, it talks about one of the points it brings out is one of the mistakes that human beings make is believing that there is only one way to live That's and right. that we don't accept that there are diverse ways of being in the world that there are millions of ways to be then a human being and, and many ways no but many paths many to what you call god that and her crazy. path might be something else and when she gets there she might call it the light but her loving and her kindness and her generosity brings her, if it brings her to the same point that it brings you, it doesn't matter whether she called it God along the way or not. And I guess the danger that could be in that, I mean, it's, it sounds great on the onset, but if you really look at both sides, I there could be possibly be just one way. What, what about Jesus? What about Jesus? only one way. There is one way and only one way, and that is through Jesus. <laughs> I mean, come on. God had a son. I mean, time out, right there. God had a son? He's powerful beyond all imagination. He exists in a realm above time and space, but he has kids? What is this, Bonanza? He has a son. God had a son, and he said to him, Jesus, <laughs> I'm sending you down to earth on a suicide mission. <laughs> but don't worry, they can't kill you because you're really me. <laughs> but it is going to hurt for a few days. I'm not going to lie about that, son. There's about three days you're going to hate me. But I'm doing this for you. I mean me. What am I saying? I'm me. You're me. You're you. But... <laughs> I go myself, but I have you. Me! What am I <laughs> Anyway. All right. <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jesus, <laughs> here's the plan. I, God the Father, wink, wink, <laughs> I'll go down to earth first. You see, we'll split up the work, because there's two of us. Not really. I'll go down to earth and I'll see if I can find a virgin Palestinian woman to impregnate so that she can give birth to you. I mean me! <laughs> it is one of the silliest stories I've ever heard, but I don't mean to offend.